In this presentation, we will discuss governmental trust funds, recalling that governmental trust funds are going to be falling within the category of fiduciary type funds, recalling that there are three primary types of funds or three types of funds within the governmental accounting, those being the governmental fund, largest group, the proprietary funds, those that are going to be similar to for-profit type of organizations, the fiduciary funds, those that have a fiduciary type component to them, of which the trust fund is a part. So we have some other examples being the custodial funds, the private purpose trust funds, the investment trust funds, and the pension trust funds. Assets received by a government under a trust agreement can include or fall into three categories. We can have investment trust funds, we can have private purpose trust funds, and pension trust funds. The concept of trust funds can be a little bit confusing and there could be some overlap in our thought process with the trust funds and other types of funds, for example, governmental type funds. So we'll go over what does it mean to be a trust fund. Notice when we're thinking about the fiduciary funds, once again, it comes down to are the assets that are being managed going to be the assets of the management, managing government or are they the assets of another government, another individual, another entity that are simply being managed by the governmental unit. As we think about that, we can have a comparison between the fiduciary funds and some governmental funds. For example, the special revenue fund. If we think about a special revenue fund, this is a governmental type fund as opposed to the fiduciary funds that we're talking about here. And we could get some uh, confusion in terms of what's a special revenue fund versus what's a fiduciary trust fund. So the special revenue fund, not a fiduciary fund, benefits the government's programs and uh, citizenry. So it's for the benefit of the government program and the citizenry rather than something outside of the government. And you can't spend uh, both earnings and principal when we're thinking about the special revenue fund. So when we're thinking about special revenue, we have some restrictions to it, but we can't spend the both the principal and the earnings on it on whatever the special revenue fund was set up for, therefore governmental fund not a fiduciary fund. Then we have a permanent fund, which is another fund that has restrictions to it. So it could be a little bit confusing as to what's the difference between a permanent fund and a fiduciary trust fund. Permanent fund, another type of fund that's going to be a governmental type fund, not a fiduciary fund as we are looking at here. The permanent fund that benefits the government programs or citizenry as well. So that's going to be the key component. Although there's restrictions, the benefits are someone for the government's uh, that the government is administering or the citizenry of the government and the earnings only can be spent. So that's the difference between these two and in the permanent fund what, there's something permanent, some permanent principle or something permanent part of it that cannot be spent. And then we spend the, the earnings on it, but those earnings could be restricted to whatever it is that was assigned for us to be spending them on, but they're still benefiting in essence, the governmental unit or the citizenry that they serve. As opposed to the trust fund, the trust fund, which is the fiduciary fund, not a governmental fund, the one we're talking about here within the fiduciary category, benefits others outside the government's program and citizenry. That's, so that's going to be the key comparison. So again, you might look at these three and say, hey, these are similar in nature. How am I going to look for what the differentiating factor is? It's, base, it's going to be this is the main differential factor that you want to see. Do I put this in a fiduciary fund? Or do I put this in a governmental fund, either special revenue or permanent? Use of earnings and principal depend on the trust agreement. So it's within the trust agreement as to what are the conditions of the trust.